Hey guys, in this video I want to show you by adding earthworms to your garden, you will improve your soil. Alright guys, I just got my five pounds of earthworms. I got five more pounds coming in the mail. Um, I just got these in the mail today. Actually, uh, they came in the mail Friday or Saturday, I think it was Saturday, uh, and the post office is closed where I'm at on Saturdays, um, so I couldn't get them, and Monday was President's Day, and they were closed, so they were in there for three extra days, um, and I hope they're still alive. <laughs> so anyways, these five pounds of earthworms is going to improve my garden. I have a Back to Eden garden, it's all wood chips. I also have a layer of um, leaf mulch on top I put. Um, I will be also adding uh, mushroom compost to the garden um, and some horse manure. It's already composted too, so that's a very big plus. So these guys here are going to have a field day, okay? So let's open this up and um, see if they're still alive. Okay. Ah, oh, they got uh Oh, they are package knife. This is a breathable material here. All right, let's look in there. I know they put a lot of bedding in there. Oh yeah, they're alive. You see them? There's one right there. He's still alive. Oh yeah, he's a wiggler. So if any of you are enjoying a uh, bowl of spaghetti right now, you probably don't want to see this video. Yeah, it should be five pounds in here. Let me open the other side though. <clears throat> oh yeah. Ooh. You know though, I think some of them didn't make it. Some of them didn't make it. This poor guy here didn't make it. These over here didn't make it. But a lot of them are still alive in the bag. I can see them moving around in there. Uh, a lot of little baby ones too. Alright guys, we're in our garden. And uh, we're going to let these guys loose. Now, when they ship them to you, uh, I ordered five pounds. There's obviously two and a half pounds in each bag. Uh, they say they weigh them before the bedding, of course. They weigh the worms, and then when they get the, the, uh, the right amount, then they add that bedding to the, uh, to the worms. All right, guys, uh, I'm ready to put the uh, worms in my garden. I'm just going to get handfuls and just sprinkle them, you know, as I'm walking along the garden. These will go down into the wood chips, and my wood chips are half broken down already. Um, and they will start eating the wood chips and producing wonderful worm castings, which is their poo, which is extremely high in uh, nitrogen and, and all the nutrients that plants need. Uh, and they also break up the clay, they burrow into the ground. Um, so they'll be in heaven in here. 
And not only that, my plan for this year is I have a pile of uh, mushroom compost sitting over here and a pile of horse manure. Uh, and, it's, and it's already uh, composted, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to put that in my garden also. So these guys, in, well, they'll be in heaven in here. That'll be wonderful. Um, last year, if you watch my video, I'll put a link up here, um, that uh, I had nitrogen problems with my garden. I have very bad clay, red clay soil here. Dirt, we'll just call it. Um, but it's just basically clay. Um, the plants were struggling uh, last year uh, to grow. They were all stunted. Uh, this year, it's going to be different, of course, after adding the worms, after adding the, uh, the uh, mushroom compost and the horse manure. Uh, I should have a decent garden this year and next year because of these guys eating all this stuff up and giving out worm castings next year, I'm going to be all set. At least I hope so. <laughs> so um, let me go spread these out and, uh, and I'll show you how, how I'm going to do it. Some of them didn't make it. They were in the, uh, sitting in the post office. I have a P.O. box because they don't deliver mail where I live. So I kind of ordered it. I had a bad time, I guess, but they were delayed for an extra week. Uh, but anyways, uh, they sat, like I said, I guess they arrived at the post office Saturday and they sat Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then uh, today's Tuesday, I picked them up. Uh, so they, they said extra, actually an extra three days in the mail, pretty much. Um, um, it looked like maybe about 25% or less, maybe 20, 25% uh, were dead. But a lot of them were still kicking and wiggling, so they'll make more, more baby worms. Uh, in fact, a lot of the ones I threw down already, I can't even find them anymore. They already went burled away. They burled themselves into the compost already. So anyway, that was five pounds, and that covered almost half of my garden. But this garden here is 75 feet long by 50 feet wide. So the next five pounds I get, I'm going to stretch it out a little more. Um, but that will definitely help, help my garden. Um, so again, worm castings is what the uh, worms produce. They'll go down there into the composted chips, eat all that up. They're going to eat up all the um, horse uh, manure that I got and mushroom compost. 
And hopefully by this summer, I'll have plenty of nitrogen along with the nitrogen fixing plants I'm putting in here, which is the peas and fava beans and other varieties of beans I'm gonna put in here. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, really get this garden going this year, but uh, at least get a kickstart on, you know, get it started this year. And for sure next year, um, I shouldn't have this nitrogen problem anymore. All right, guys, that's about it uh, for this video. Um, if you get a chance to put worms in your garden, do it. Just make sure that your garden has a lot of organic matter like uh, compost, uh, manure, uh, mushroom compost, all that uh, leaves, you know, uh, even composted leaves, whatever, even fresh leaves, well not fresh, but you know, your fall leaves. Uh, put that all in there on top and the worms will come up in there and they'll just eat eat that up. They'll be, uh, they'll be in heaven. Um, and I think that's about it. Well, okay, I ordered my worms on, uh, what was the website? It was called bestbuyworms.com and my other worms that I'm waiting on are from downtoearth.com. I think it's downtoearth.com, but I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna put both of their links in the description and I'll put it up here also. All right, uh, so I think that's about it. Put, this, put those in your garden and uh, with the organic matter and you will have some very rich, nutritious soil that your plants will love you for and reward you with fresh fruits and vegetables. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.